today I present to you the very worst Power World take on X. <laughs> Holy hell, where do I begin with this one? So, Mr. Ty Kim, a CNBC uh, columnist, Okay, he writes, We live in a world where paper-thin, unfinished hack job games like Power World make $210 million in five days, and high-quality titles like Alan Wake to flop. Sad face. No. Thing is, it's early access. It doesn't have to be finished. People buy it knowing it's unfinished. And second, Alan Wake 2 flopped because it's trapped on Epic Store and there was no physical edition. They screwed over the hardcore Alan Wake fans and they denied it a broader release. That's why it flopped. Now let's look at some of the quote tweets to this guy. Because it's a bad game. Someone said, I still want to play it. I think it's time people realize that games, gamers want games that are fun and filled with fun gameplay. The story walking simulators are cool, but there needs to be a balance. Alan Wake 2, for all intents and purposes, is mostly investigation. Power World has mass appeal. It's cheaper and runs on more hardware. Older GPUs, the Xbox One, than Alan Wake 2. I think AW2 is cool and I love Sam Lake's writing, but it's really inaccurate to compare them. Alan Wake 2 is a single player game being published by a company with tons of money in Epic Games that has no business being tied to the internet they would have offered a physical copy of the game the numbers would have would be different people want to own story driven games Alan Wake 2 flopped due to multiple factors no one wants to use epic's garbage storefront it was a digital only release pc port not being good on top of that this guy is a reporter, mind you. He should know all this. <laughs> Sweet Baby Ink. Um, they, um, Sweet Baby Ink and um, everything that came out about Sweet Baby Ink and their ties to Alan Wake and Spider-Man also probably didn't help. Especially, like, you know... If they're subscribed to, like, Heel vs. Babyface or, like, any of the other, like... Big YouTubers, like, anyone, like, I, I mean, I've looked into this, and it does seem like a very garbage organization, and it's a shame that they even had work on Alan Wake. I still hope I enjoy the game. When, in fact, it comes out on physical or becomes dirt cheap. Alan Wake has no literal mass appeal, though. Pokemon is the biggest entertainment franchise in the world. I'm laughing in my opinion. Well. High quality titles like Alan Wake 2. I don't think some movies should sell as much as a video game. Give it a physical release. Ha 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 ha. All right, now that we've seen the quote tweets, let's check the comments. You look mad. In a world where people whine about games instead of letting people enjoy them. Pal World was more finished than Halo Infinite. <laughs> Avoiding the physical release. Alan Wake 2 is exclusive to Epic Game Launcher, so that's why it flopped, just like every game that's exclusive to the Epic Games Launcher. <laughs> yep, no buy for me until I get my PS5 version too. 
Oh my god, so much this! So much fucking this! Oh, <laughs> oh, this guy is absolutely getting roasted. Fuck me, I gotta, I gotta play more Power World. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to Dash Attack. And I'll see you all next time. Dash Attack out.